everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post things. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph willed it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Patient X? That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. David's waiting, Adam. We shouldn't keep him. You still have this. It was a gift from our first date. It was a spur-of-the-moment purchase. A joke. Well, it worked, because I forgave you for picking me up in one of those. Are you coming? In a second. Wow. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank had told me about it, too. Hey, stop reading my email. Come on, slowpoke. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? 
Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading in the terms of my theory. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just military. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie! Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Soon till it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard, like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Sarah has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellite. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order 
when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. You need to know what's happening, Adam. Use my elevator. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? Pritchard!
it was a glass. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. 
The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraf wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great, then let's get airborne. Told for Rita to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies. And if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
Ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React team plan? We got Alpha as Point and Bravo as Wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, it's the man in charge you have to worry about. How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech-savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on the recycle military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his odds made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Richard, I'm in. Nicely done, Jensen. May I ask how? A vent on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. 
The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Anyone there? I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. <laughs> Richard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe, and they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Seraph, but don't take too long. Put it away, man. 
Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plan's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. Access grant.
Access granted. Step away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Breaking news coming out of Detroit. Police are still not saying much about the situation, but sources tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage, and the entire city holds its collective breath. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago.
Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Lantern! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, Mia La Vieja, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You just think that taking a hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. Sorry, but I got no choice. I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it, you got outmaneuvered. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold the soul to the biomod industry. You know what? I'm done talking here. The sorry son of a bitch who lied to my brother messed with the wrong family. Now I'm gonna track down everybody and anybody who helped them and laugh while I ripped their fucking heads off. And there ain't nothing you or anybody else in this world can do to stop me. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage, just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to here, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, cabron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. I'll look over there. Adam! Still's going. Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Access grant.
be all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us, Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. Nice job securing the plant. I wouldn't have thought of securing. Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. The target is unlocked. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swab will need to debrief her. Well, you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, 
Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jansen. Special training good. I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. People seem to think we're hiding something. Only because Eliza Kazan keeps spinning it that way. Seriously, they used to... Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Don't you have somewhere to be, Jensen? I'm sure Saraf is expecting your... What did they talk about? David and you, Dara? Hell if I know. A mole? Look at really? Bill Gates and Steve Jobs been watching about. CON again. Yeah, he's trying to come out of mind. Right. See, it's stable. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. And I did. The Typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. 
He's not the mastermind behind this, boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why, so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends in the force? You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. That hacker's not gonna be sitting still for long. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words. That man is trouble. Jensen, glad to see ya. Damn it, now I sound like his girlfriend or something. Hey, Jensen! Man, it's good to see ya. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway... Now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. 
I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? All right, tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Access grant. Right, Josie. Yeah, I met her. What happened? I heard the leader of the terrorists had a gun to her head, but Jensen talked him into letting her go. Wow, that's amazing. Good thing Jensen was there. Saved us all another funeral, that's for sure. God knows we've had enough of those. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second... God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting? I know. It's so awful. Because you'd be the first to... Well, I mean, you'd be... I'd be the first to what? Uh, nothing. Forget it.
Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please. Will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. 